All right, so I've decided to go and turn this into a proper series. Because, you know, why the hell not? Although I am going to have to cut the episodes down a bit so they're not uh, they're not all 45 minutes long. Hey, look. Buccaneers. I found the ship to be tremendously useful in just level grinding. Because out here in the ocean, or the sea, or whatever the hell we're in right now, you have immediate access to more powerful enemies than you would normally. As well as having easy access to the initial town that you started, whatever the hell that was called, uh, Cornelia or something like that. So you can return back to there, and the inn there is cheaper than the inn in the later towns. So you can go and fight a few enemies, return to the inn, rest up or resurrect your characters, and then immediately just jump yourself back out to the sea and fight some more enemies. Oh, look at that. I'm a little reluctant to overdo it, though, because it seems like this game... There's a town. Seems like this game is... Can't go in from the back. Is not so much um, focused around the idea of having to level a lot. You have to do less grinding in this version. So we're in Elfheim. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just like Link. <laughs> Please help our prince. Of course. Where is our prince? Well, not in the end. Ah, oh, 100 gil per night. Jeez, being gouged on inn prices. They get more expensive in every town I visit. Which is why I kept going back to the original one. For leveling up. Magic. Black magic. Oh my god, the spells are so expensive. Fire to all enemies, though. Lightning to all enemies. Paralyzes. Lowers evasion. Let's, uh... Oh my god, maybe the... Maybe the level grinding isn't so much for getting levels here as it is for getting money to, um... It's a gravestone, yeah, I can see that. And it's Link. <laughs> Link is everywhere. He's not in this grave. Well, I mean, I guess once they all die, you might as well put that tombstone on, uh, on all of them. White magic. Cura, fantastic, deals damage to all undead enemies. Reduces fire damage, a little HP. I can only get three of these. And in fact, I can only get two, given the amount of money that I have. So I'm just going to get the Cure one. Dark Elves. There are Elves and Dark Elves. Another white magic store? Oh my god, what do you have? Oh crap, this stuff's even more expensive. Poison, uh, fear, reduces ice damage, and cures silence. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, that's what a prince oftentimes is. Another black magic store? Oh, great. You're going to tell me the future someday. <laughs> this is expensive too. Ice damage, uh, confuse, haste, and uh, sleep. -a. Sleep. Puts them all to sleep. I can't afford any of this. Jeez, turns out I do need to actually... Um, I do need to actually level grind. Not for levels, but for money. Ocean, antidote, echo, grass, stone... Sleeping bag. These come across like they're going to be tremendously useful. A cottage. It's expensive. I need to go kill grinding. Did I talk to you? Yeah. Yeah, I was the... Oh my god, the armor store. How much is this going to be? Oh, actually, surprisingly cheap. <laughs> I was expecting it to be so much more expensive. Not that I can actually... Um, afford a lot here. Well, if I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to... Um, I'm gonna have to go and level grind here. Not to, not for the levels, but for the, sa the sake of gaining... Uh, 
Oh, look, I can actually have bought this instead. For the sake of getting money, because I have a feeling I'm gonna need some of the shit that I am seeing here. I'm gonna say that the copper armlet, I should buy that instead of equipping. So that way I can equip my black mage here. Because my black mage just gets his ass kicked. Just gets his ass kicked all the damn time. So he's lagging behind the other characters in terms of levels. Alright, I'm clearly not geared enough to go into the next dungeon. Now, another one that's gonna... Tell me the future someday. Up, oh, all right. Don't need to be in there. On a weapon store. Oh my god. I thought I was going into this with money. Hmm. Okay, I can't. I don't. Oh, well, that's not a good enough weapon for Cloud, but Riku would do fine. But I can't afford it anyway. Dagger, actually. Uh, who's that for? Some class I don't have. Well, I might as well equip VV with the best that I can get. Where is the big castle? It was up at the north in the Gotta go to the world map to get there. Elven Castle. I guess that's what I'm here for. Oh, the Dark Elf King. Astros has done this. What was that second thing? Oh, then he stole some shit. Oh, I guess this is him. <laughs> Five years? Jeez. Everyone's still obsessing about it? <laughs> um, but where? Some concoction that can raise this little douche. Western Age of the Aldean Sea. The dwarves. Oh, okay. Oh, they're a friendly bunch. Elves and dwarves get along. This is not Lord of the rings -y at all. Get out of the way, dude. You're blocking the aisle. <laughs> There we go. Not much of a castle here. Hey, look, a weird little courtyard for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you... Oh, is this the entrance? <laughs> so there's only one room. There's got to be more to this place than that. Oh, let me... Let me, uh... Oh, there is another room. Oh, I missed a key. Yeah, thanks. I gathered that. Alright, so the... Little elf boy on the western edge. So I gotta head west. Oh. Alright, so I spent a good 15 minutes or so just sort of kill grinding in the sea. And I've managed to outfit my characters with all the latest equipment. Although the magic has proved to be a little bit beyond my capacity. <laughs> my patience, anyway. To fill up. So I only got one spell in level 4 for each. Uh, Poisona, which should... I mean, you tend to get poisoned a lot in these games. And Blizzara, which is a multi-attack spell. Because I found out that the multi-attack spells... Uh, like Thunder and Fire are exceptionally useful, especially for level grinding in the sea, because I get swarmed by like nine enemies at once, and Thunder will just sweep the battlefield clean. Amazingly useful. But, I mean, I can only cast four of those between rest periods, so picking up Blizzara increases that by three. So, Vivi is really lagging behind in terms of HP growth. That's pathetic. He gains another level and 160 experience points, which should be in one fight. But still, I mean, it's not gonna match. 
So the west side, um, I wandered around in there and I didn't see any way of getting at it from the sea. So the west side of the sea, I'm going to have to approach by land. Like, look at, look at the, look at this ability I have here. How useful. Oh, come on. Come on, Vivi. That just, I mean, it kills everything. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Didn't gain that level. No, nothing up here. That level that Vivi gained was pathetic. Ah, damn it. Poisoned. Damn spiders. Ah, it's a dungeon. Um, should I, should I retreat and, um, uh, I picked up some sleeping bags and some tents and crap like that with the idea that I'd be able to, um, rest up before proceeding into a place like this, so. Oh, somebody's poisoned. What the f- Riku, you- Bitch. <laughs> Let's, uh... Fantastic. Let's use that tent. Ha! Ah, look at that. <laughs> I liked it in Final Fantasy IX. You would have, like, a tent over your field. It was great. Uh, okay, I didn't get as much. Anyway, well, anyway, let's let's do this. Is what the hell is this? Green slime. Of course, there's always some kind of a slime. Good thing it's a preemptive. Oh, I'm doing no damage. Oh my god, this thing's got to be weak to magic. Um. Yep, weak to magic. Usually, these kinds of enemies that are weak to ma too weak to magic actually have a low HP. So maybe you can just brute force your way through it. God, I hope I don't have to do that a lot because Vivi doesn't exactly have an enormous amount of uh, MP to use. I'm using level 1 spells, which can kill them, but uh, it's going to suck if I have to do this a lot. Uh, ghost monsters, they tend to be... Okay, no, they don't have crazy high defense. Oh, well, that was easy. Guess all that money grinding I did geared me up a bit. Oh, man, look at this place. Gargoyle. Oh, shit. Did a lot of damage to Yuna. Look at the size of their eyes. They're like their... Oh, or those ears. Those are ears. Those aren't eyes. <laughs> it's always the case that mages are some especially um, hobbled characters. Ooh, a potion. And money. Mages always end up being powerful characters in their own way. Their attacks are vastly greater oftentimes. Significantly greater than their physical attacking counterparts. So you have, like, Cloud, who's a physical attacking character. Cloud can do some decent damage, but he can't do nearly the kind of damage that... V money again? That Vivi can dish out. Of course, they're the traditional trade-offs where Vivi can't um, absorb as much damage. So there's that. But in this game, it's 
Oh, a dagger. I already have a dagger, though, don't I? Can anybody else use it? No. It's exaggerated in this case because Vivi may have the capacity to do more damage, but Vivi will eventually run out of MP. And, I mean, it's always the case that mages, or usually the case that mages have MP that they have to work their way through, but it's so much more limited in this game than in the other ones that I really feel like Vivi has a significant limitation that, like, I can go full bore with Vivi in this dungeon, and I can kill every group of enemies that I encounter like I'm doing right here real easy. But after eight fights, Vivi essentially becomes a weak character who's unable to do significant damage and takes too much damage. And then what, what do I do then? Well, then I'm screwed. Because Vivi is basically a liability at that point. But, oh, you know, if I restrain myself and I don't go all crazy with Vivi's attacks, then I can, uh, well, I can save his strength up for the, um, save his strength up for when I get closer to the end of the dungeon, for the boss battles and all that kind of stuff. Or I can just use it sparingly and occasionally unleash Vivi's full power on more difficult fights. But, you know, hmm. How do I judge I'm close to the end of a dungeon if I've never been in it? Oh, I thought there was going to be a treasure chest in here. Let me see the map. Oh my god. This place is bigger than I was expecting. Some of these enemies are no freaking joke, dealing lots of damage. I should stop screwing around. I am gaining some significant levels and quite a bit of money. Fortunately, these potions I'm occasionally finding are uh, quite useful. Oh my god, another one of these things. Turns out the blue slime in that battle was actually resistant to uh, physical damage, not magic damage. I'm sorry, it was re resistant to magic damage instead of physical damage. Why even have the bats here? Oh, good. Jeez. I haven't dove into my supply of crap yet, but... Okay, these are the ones that are... Uh, the gray. They call them gray, but they're blue. They're resistant to magic, but not physical damage. So just wail away on them. This dungeon just keeps going. It's gotta be a... I'm gonna have to come back here later. Once I've cleared this level out because there's a lot of treasure chests that I'm no doubt missing cottage cottage would be useful if I can get outside starting to do dive into my uh, item supplies monsters oh my god what is that psycho demon looks like a Cthulhu kind of thing let me, uh, let me not dick around with these things. Let me just make everything dead real quick. Oh man, they deal some damage. I just beat this last one to death. Oh wow, that was a lot of money. A lot of experience points, too. Oh! I obtained the crown! What the hell's a crown for? The kid was unconscious. He didn't need a crown. Alright, that's probably the end of this dungeon. So I'm going to retreat out of here. Once I'm outside, I'll um, rest up and then I will head on in. Once I can, uh, once I can be assured that I have used a cottage or something, I'll be back. Though I want to make sure that I get all the treasure chests 
but I'm not really in a condition. I'm not supplied enough. Like, I, ironically, I should have brought a lot of ethers, which could have restored the um, MP of these characters. Oh, copper armlet. I already have that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I can sell it once I get back to town. But I already spent my money outfitting these characters with this kind of armor. Haven't used my first phoenix down. Um, Vivi lost consciousness. Oh, only has one AP. One M MP. AP. MP. A uh, Jesus Christ. HP. <laughs> oh, this spell is not that powerful. Gotta get out. <laughs> Gotta get out. All right, I used the last of Vivi's high-level magics in that fight. So, he's just going to have to continue with the low-level magics or physical attacks. Fortunately, I, I have like 10 spells that I can cast between the two of them. So, that's probably enough for me to get out of here. But it isn't really enough for me to really continue exploring. So, I need to go... It's a shame, I kind of want to see what's up to the right of this fork. But, you know, I'll get to it eventually. I don't want to risk it. Alright, I'm back outside. And I guess I should go back to Elf... Elfheim? So, let's head back. Alright, I cut over the travel back. Eh. Uh, okay, so apparently this didn't freaking do it. I guess I do have to go and head to the western edge of the continent in order to, um, in order to go and find that dark king dude who, uh, put the curse on the, on the prince. I guess maybe that's what the crown was for. I need to find the crown in order to give it to him for him to do something to undo the curse. Hell, I'm making this up. I have no idea. But at very least, running through that dungeon has given me enough gear to money to properly out for my characters for a change. But I got this one, so I can finally get my uh, finally get my shit up. But anyway, I'll bring this episode to a close. I got something I need to go and do in the real world. Thanks for watching.